Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I'm here with a pick a pile and we're going to be looking at the person on your mind, their thoughts, feelings and what do they want to say to you right now. So I just want you to pick a tarot deck. <clears throat> Before we start I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support. All my links are down below to my books, to my card shop and to my Patreon and if the region resonates Really appreciate a thumbs up or a comment, that'd be great. So part one, we have the Chakra Tarot. I can't remember the exact names of these, I'm sorry. It's Chakra. This one is like the Rider Waite Tarot, part two. And part three is Crystal Skulls, Skulls, Crystal Souls Tarot, something like that. So pick your pile and we'll get your messages. Hello, Paul. One you chose the Chris, um, the Chakra, Chakra Tarot. I can't remember the exact name. Um, so <laughs> we're going to look at <clears throat> the person on your mind, their thoughts, their feelings, and what they want to say to you. And I'm going to be using my Hidden Thoughts and Feelings deck for that, for what they want to say. Okay, so let's have a look. So. Pile one, think of the person, who, who's, who is the person on your mind? Let's, let's get some clarification. So who is the person on pile one's mind? See if this pile is for you. Who is the person on pile one's mind? Who is this person? We have the king of coins straight away. So it could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> doesn't have to be but somebody quite stable somebody financially well off abundant somebody mature could be older than you solid you know a solid person in the community they've you know got a lot of material possessions and they know what they want you know this is somebody that knows what they want okay so what are their thoughts about you part one what is Paul one's thoughts about you well, they see you as a Queen of Wands, so you could be a fire sign. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Sun, Moon or Rising. Um, but they see you in this energy, so they really do think you're very sexy, um, very creative, very sensual. Um, they know, they feel that you attract a lot of attention. Um, you stand out to them, okay? You stand out amongst other women to them. So what else do they think of Par 1? Yeah, we've got Eight of Cups. It sort of came out sideways. So <clears throat> this could be somebody that walked away from you or you walked away from them. But there's a they want to reconcile with the Eight of Cups reverse. It's about returning energy. So either you or them want to have another chance here. And I feel with the Princess of Sword, I feel they could have been watching you online. Okay, if you've got social media presence, they could have been keeping an eye on you online. <laughs> Any other thoughts? These are not going to be long in depth readings. Any other thoughts? Yeah, we've got eight of swords, so they're really up in their head about this, they're really overthinking, they're feeling stuck, okay, really overthinking, they could be, you know, they could have a lot of air, but there is a chariot energy, they do want to move forward here, they do want to come towards you and move forward with this. Yeah, we've got the two of wands reverse, now two of wands upright is about a choice to me, and there is no choice with that reverse, I feel you are the one they want with that. Two of Wands reversed. Yeah, they want a brand new beginning. Look at that, Ace of Coins. They want to offer you a brand new beginning here. So what are their feelings for Pile 1? What are their feelings? What are their feelings for Pile 1? Yeah, they want to come forward with the truth, okay? Um, so maybe they haven't been completely honest with you. They want to speak their truth. Wow. Ten of Cups. They want to have a loving relationship with you. <clears throat> they want to have a relationship. And maybe in the past they walked away from you or you walked away from them because they were non-committal. 
They have you on high self-esteem with this nine of coins. I feel you're both single, or they're hoping you're single, but they have you on high self-esteem. They see you as somebody very worthy, somebody very independent, somebody not needy. You know, they really have you in a really high esteem. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups, I, I feel they see you as somebody very loving, very nurturing, um, somebody with love to offer. And maybe you offered them love and they turned it down. But they are seeing you as a wish fulfillment now. They're seeing you as their wish. Um, the person they want. You are the one they want. This is how it feels. Any other feelings for part one? Yeah, Ace of Wands. They want to come forward. They want to have a brand new passionate beginning with you. Anything else? Wow, we have Emperor Energy. So I feel they could have matured, okay? Um, when you knew them, maybe they were a bit immature, emotionally immature. And I feel they've matured into this Emperor, uh, which is that go-getting energy. Somebody's in their power. Somebody goes after what they want. So what do they want to say to part one? What do they want to say? <laughs> My feelings run so deep. What else do they want to say? <coughs> what else do they want to say? <coughs> what else do they want to say? It's part one. I'm becoming stronger in myself every day. So we can see that with the Emperor. I feel they've been doing a lot of work on themselves. I'm feeling better mentally than I have for years. So they could have struggled with mental health issues. You know, depression, anxiety. But you are their angel of love. You know, that's why they, they see you. And I'm seeing signs everywhere that remind me of you. So, yeah, they, they definitely want to come forward and offer you something here. So I'm going to leave it there, part one. Love and blessings. Hello, part two. You chose the Rider Waite Tarot. So the person on your mind, okay, we're going to look at their thoughts, their feelings and what they want to say with my hidden thoughts and feelings deck. Um, so first of all, we're going to have a look and see who is this person on your mind, see if that resonates. And if not, pick another pile. So who is the person on pile two's mind? Who is this person on pile two's mind? Who is the person on pile two's mind? We have King of Swords energy. <clears throat> so that's air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but they don't have to be. They could be somebody that's really logical, really very intelligent. You know, they're more in their thoughts, their head, than in their feelings. They could kind of appear as cold, aloof, cutting. You know, they, they can very be very blunt speaking. So what are their thoughts towards part two? What's their thoughts towards part two? They want to bring in justice here. Okay, so I don't know what happened here. So what are their thoughts? Yeah, they're waiting for the right time with that three of wands. I will see that's divine timing. They're waiting for the right time, I feel. Yeah, there was heartbreak here. There was heartbreak. So, you know, maybe you both went for a breakup with each other. Um, or maybe this person um, is getting over a, another heartbreak, you know, maybe coming out of a marriage or separation, um, heartbreak energy, maybe this is you. Um, but we do have communication coming in here um, with the Eight of Wands as communication. So there could be a, some messages, like exchange of messages coming through. Well, and we have Ace the Cup, so... You know, this is that self-love energy and they want to have a brand new start in love with you. Um, 
What are the thoughts? They see you as the Empress. They see you as a Divine Feminine. They see you as somebody very loving, very nurturing, um, <clears throat> abundant, you know, somebody who they really have a lot of respect for. What, what other thoughts do they have about Paul too? thoughts about part two wow we've got the lovers so they really feel this is a soulmate connection i feel they feel this is soulmate energy um with you um but for some of them i feel they've come out of a situation maybe they were with somebody else or maybe this was with you maybe you've been in separation from this person so what are their feelings towards part two what are their feelings Yeah, they see you as somebody full of value with that Nine of Pentacles. You know, somebody independent, somebody grounded, somebody financially stable. They see your worth. You know, they really do see your worth, yeah. And they see you as somebody very honest, very, you know, trustworthy. What's their feelings for Paul? Okay. Wow. We have the Two of Cups, you know, they, they want to have, um, they want to have a loving relationship with you. Yeah, we have the Death Card, so they want to transform this situation between you. <clears throat> so something ended, so whether this was you and, you know, you both ended it for whatever reason and they want to resurrect it, you know, with the Death Card is Death and Rebirth. Or they've come out of something and they're, they're ready now to um, come forward and offer you their heart, their love. Yeah, there's sadness and disappointment here. So, you know, whatever they did, whatever happened between you, it's caused a lot of sadness and disappointment and heartbreak. But they want to have a, new, a whole new beginning, a whole new chapter here. They want to start again. We've got the Four of Wands. They want to bring in stability, a foundation. That could possibly lead to a commitment. And we have the Six of Swords. They want to move away from the past. You know, whatever happened in their past, your past. And, and move forward into smoother waters. And we do have the Knight of Swords. Which can be fast moving communication. So they expect some communication from this person, I feel. So what do they want to say? What do they want to say to Paul too? What do they want to say? I want to say to part two. I'm feeling good about you and me. I will be telling you my truth soon. So definitely they want to communicate um, with you. There's definitely communication here. What else do they want to say? My heart bleeds for you. So we saw that with the three of swords. <clears throat> There's been a lot of pain here. I'm sorry for the things I said and did that hurt you. I was not trying to hurt you. Okay. So hurt people hurt people. So um, maybe, you know, you had an argument or a falling out over something. Let me be your one and only love. So they, they really want to be the one. This crazy love has taken me by surprise and baby be mine. So they want to come forward. Okay, they want to come forward and tell you their truth. Okay, part two. So I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Hello, part three. You chose the crystal. I think it's crystal soul tarot. So we're going to look at the person on your mind. We're going to check who that is. <clears throat> what are their thoughts and feelings? And what do they want to say at the end with my hidden thoughts and feelings deck, which is in my shop? <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a really funny throat today for some reason. So, who is the person on Paul 3's mind? Who is the person on Paul 3's mind? Who is the person on Paul 3's mind? Who is this person? 
got page of wands so it could be somebody that was very immature emotionally <clears throat> it could have been a very passionate connection it could have been like a lustful connection um somebody who was a lot younger than you in years but also very emotionally immature i feel so what are their thoughts about pole three what are their thoughts Well, we have the lover's energy, so they, they feel a connection with you, a soul connection with you. We've got the king of pentacles, so you could be an earth sign, um, it doesn't matter about gender, or it could be a same-sex relationship for some of you, um, but they saw you as somebody very mature, you could have been an earth sign, or could be an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you're very grounded, stable, mature, um, they didn't feel they were in the same league as you, but they did feel this connection. What are their other thoughts? Yeah, they want a new beginning with that full energy. They want to take a leap of faith. Yeah, look at that. The Hierophant. They want to commit to this connection with you. What are their thoughts? Oh, three. Their thoughts. Yeah, we've got Knight of Pentacles. So... It's very slow moving energy here. Um, again, you know, it could be a fire sign, could be an earth sign. Um, but, you know, it could be a while since you've seen this person or heard from this person. It's very slow moving energy. <clears throat> but I feel this person has been doing a lot of work on themselves and they've matured into the night from the page. So there has been a bit of maturity here. And when they come forward, this is the energy of somebody coming towards you, but it's slow. They are going to be certain. They're going to be sure. They're not wishy-washy. They're not going to suddenly turn around and, and go back. Um, when they turn up, they are serious about, um, you know, moving forward. What other thoughts? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, they want to celebrate with you. They want to take you out. They want to have fun times with you, um, take you for meals, you know, take you out, have a good time together. Everyone really, you know, have a night. Like, yeah, look at that. They want to bring happiness and joy into this connection. They want to bring back those happy times that you shared. They've got, I feel, happy memories of the times that you shared. So what are their feelings? What are their feelings? Oh, three. What's the feelings? Yeah, six of pentacles. I want to bring balance to this. Maybe it was a very out of balance <coughs> connection because, as I said, that person comes across as very emotionally mature. And maybe you gave a lot and they didn't give to that situation and it was very unbalanced. But they see your worth, you know, they see your value, they see your worth. And they want to match you in that. And we've got the Ten of Cups. They want a relationship with you. And we've got a child there. For some of you, they want to create a family with you. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles. They want to put the time and effort in. They want to work towards, you know, um, reaping the harvest. They want to create something with you. What other feelings do they have? Feelings for part three. Feelings for power. So we've got the star energy. So I do feel they've been doing a lot of healing on themselves. And you could have both been doing that. And, you know, you are a wish fulfillment. They see you as a wish. And they're tapping more into that intuition. They see you as somebody who is very intuitive, very psychic maybe. And when you were with them, that could have scared them a bit. But I feel they've been really working on their own intu intuition. Yeah, they want to offer you the love. They want to offer you a brand new beginning in love. Yeah, you are the wish fulfillment. And we have the tower. So it could be very sudden and unexpected to you that this person suddenly comes forward and offers you love, okay? But you may have been 
you know, apart from this person for a long time uh, with that Knight of Pentacles. So what do they want to say? I'm sorry I haven't been in touch, but I didn't know what to say. I'm feeling positive about you and me. My life has been full of obstacles. It's been difficult. So I do feel that, you know, they've been dealing with some karma and, you know, they've had to do some, you know, a lot of work on themselves. Remembering those times with you have my happiest memories. So they really have fond memories of the times together. You have such a calmness to you, beautiful inside and out. And being with you makes me a better me. And I want to be intimate with you and make love to you. But, you know, it's not just about that. There, there are feelings here. Yeah, please forgive me, my love. So, you know, there's definitely feelings with those, those cop energy there. So I'm going to leave it there, part three. Love and blessings. Take care.